This was not how things were supposed to go. This was not how today was supposed to go. I'm not sure what that was. I'm not sure that I want to know. But I knew that I had to tell someone, which meant heading back to town. It had certainly been an absolutely long night, sitting there throughout the evening. Now, the dull ambient light of the morning was coming over the horizon. Rays were piercing the sky, coming through the dense canopy above, striking down in singular points, dancing around the floor like the fey through the woods. The mountains to my right, they loomed over me like giants hiding in the mist. They tried to hold back the morning light, but failed to do as much. It had been a long night, and I rubbed my eyes, waiting for the slightest point of movement, but still nothing. The forest was where I found my peace, though, away from the murmurs and the magic humming in my head, and at least what I experienced when I was too close to town. But this, this was my peace. I had waited at the edge of the clearing for most of the night, <laughs> waiting for a deer to venture into the clearing to end this hunt. Tonight had to be the night. Tonight, the deandro flowers bloomed, and any deer that had been within a mile would have come. Their sweet smell was, <laughs> if anything, intoxicating. And usually, creatures from miles around came to feast on them when they'd bloom. But there was nothing. Not a single soul to be seen all night long. And I didn't see it at first. But I heard it. The sound of movement through the tall grass at a distance. A sound faint. A sound that would have been missed under any other circumstance. But I had been waiting for so long, it rang in my ear. <laughs> Almost truth. Truth amongst the silence of the day. Barely audible through the chirping of the birds in the morning. I spotted it. A deer grazing near a clearing. A fine buck. I slowly crept my way, just to get myself in view. I knocked an arrow, the familiar tension of the bowstring, comforting, a pressure against my fingers, almost a relief. I had done this a thousand times, yet each hunt feels like a dance with nature, a ritual, mostly of respect and survival. I stopped watching the deer at a distance. I took a deep breath in, and then I let it out, and I let loose an arrow. The deer fell directly to the floor, and I decided to head over, taking a small step through the golden fields in front of me. It was just a stroll, like any other time. As I said, I had done this a thousand times. This wasn't the first, wouldn't be the last, but every time, there was an amount of respect paid. But as I walked across the field, I noticed something for the first time. The birds, the insects, all of them, it was gone. But more than silent, it was dead silent. That sound only existed when something bad was abound. And not just a predator, but something that scared even the insects. Something that was most likely magical in nature. I stopped for a moment, looking to my left, looking to my right. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. Something was wrong. I didn't see it right now, but something was wrong. I ducked down to the high grass, looking around, slowly still making my way towards the fallen deer. I could feel it. Something, somewhere. It was here. I crouched even further down, slowly moving towards the deer, and then stopped altogether. Something was going to show itself. Oh, shit. I whispered to myself as I saw one of the mindless coming through the forest. They shouldn't have been this close to the city. I know that we were out of the range of the beacon, but still, they shouldn't be this close. The mindless haven't been seen in almost a decade here. 
the dead reanimated, brought to life. There were so many different forms that an arcane society had put most of them down. But now, here was one, stumbling out of the forest and right towards my deer, directly to where I was headed. It made its way out of the forest. Not towards me, but towards the deer. I lost sight of it as it knelt down and I could hear it. I could hear it munching away at the deer. That's so strange. Normally the mindless only went after the living. Unless my arrow didn't strike true. God, that poor deer. But I had to get out of here. I started to back up, to move away, trying to get away from this mindless thing in front of me. Shit, 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 shit! That is the last thing in the world I needed. I stood up, tearing across the field, scuttling, hitting the ground. Oh, my feet couldn't get underneath me and I tried to get away. The slow zombie tore after me as fast as it could, its body barely able to hold it up. I got my bearing underneath me and I darted across the field as quickly as I possibly could. I managed to get to my feet. I knocked an arrow, pulled the string back, and let one loose. The arrow made solid contact with the mindless, but it didn't stop it. I knocked another one and let it fly, and then another, and then another. I didn't stop retreating, I kept moving backwards, knocking arrow after arrow. Finally, I slowed down, took aim, and let one fly. The arrow flew straight, true, and right into the eye socket of the zombie. It fell to the ground, motionless. I stood there for what well, must have been minutes, staring at the motionless body lying on the ground. I looked to my left, to my right, there was nothing. No motion, no movement. And then it happened. The sound of the birds, the sound of the insects, it all came rushing back. This world knew. This world knew when there was something wrong. But just as soon as the insects came, it faded again, as if something else was showing up. What was it now? I heard the rustle of grass, and I waited, waiting for something. But just then, the deer that I shot stood up and looked at me, directly in the eyes. Parts of its flesh falling off, like a necrosis has infected it and was spreading across its body. The mindless were known to infect humans, but I'd never seen them infect animals before. This was a first. The deer turned and walked off into the woods. I'm not sure what that was. I'm not sure that I want to know. But I knew that I had to tell someone, which meant heading back to town. I stood there staring off, listening to the birds and the insects return as the deer vanished into the woods. This was not how things were supposed to go. This was not how today was supposed to go. In fact, none of this should have happened at all. But it did. And I was right smack in the middle of it. I spent years trying to escape this life, trying to get away from the magical things that this world had to offer us. But I knew more than most. This was a sign. This was a sign that it was time to go back. Time to go back to a world that I didn't want to go back to. The first was first. Megan would be wanting to know this. The last person in the world that want to see me and the last person in the world that I would want to go talk to. So off I went, to visit an old friend. Well, we used to call each other that. Mm -hmm.